Hi, it's Professor Monty. Let's look at an application of inequalities. So I've got this problem. It says David will photograph a wedding for $800 total or $125 per hour. And the question is, for what number of hours would the hourly rate be less expensive? So I'm going to do what I always do when I set up a word problem. I'm going to just try to put it into words first and then add the numbers and the variables. Okay, so think of what we're going to do. It says, what number of hours would the hourly rate be less expensive? So we're going to say total for hourly. We want that to be less than um, just the flat total. So if they just cost one rate, that's going to be a flat rate, or that's the flat total. So what I have here, the hourly total, let's think about what makes this up. It's $125 per hour, so it's going to be $125 times however many hours I'm doing. So I'm saying X is number of hours. Don't forget to label your variable so that when you solve it, you know what it means and if you've actually answered the question. So the total is less than, well, that's just a less than, the flat total, $800. So it comes real quick to an inequality. We wanted to know when this was less than that, and that's what it comes to. So now from there, we just are going to divide both sides by 125. Remember, if you divide both sides by a positive number, you don't flip the inequality. I get x is less than, that comes to 6.4 hours. And that's my answer. As long as the number of hours is less than 6.4, I'm going to pay less than the $800 total. If I'm going to have David there for more than 6.4 hours, I probably want to go with the $800 total. That will be less expensive. So that's the idea. It's a pretty simple idea, but try this trick where you write in words first, and then you just go step by step putting in your inequality or an equation if it was that type of a problem. Okay. But try that out. These are just like equation problems, but instead of saying, hey, when would the totals be the same? We're just going to say, when is one less or when is one greater? So don't get discouraged by those. It just takes a little practice, but you'll get it.